Attention, dear passengers, the Dnipro railway station has a new waiting room for members of the military. This announcement sounds from the loudspeakers nearly every hour so that as many soldiers as possible learn about the new service. Yuri and his colleague have just gotten off the train. They returned from an assignment and asked not to show their faces. In Dnipro they have a transfer, so they have to wait four hours. After hearing the announcement, they decided to use the new waiting room for the military. A little bit of comfort helps psychologically. It makes it easier to bear with all these trips. Such moments in your life become pleasant if you can add some comfort. The military waiting room was converted from the premises previously used for official delegations. Ukrzaliznetsya purchased soft sofas, a TV, and one room was allocated for left luggage offices. The boxes for luggage were first in a standard size, but they had to be redone. Passengers started coming with huge backpacks. We understood that we have to change something, so we removed shelving and made two big baggage loggers in one wardrobe. More than 100 military personnel pass through the Dnipro rail station every day. In order to build an extra bit of comfort, a kitchen and a bathroom were also built. This room allows them to wash their clothes or take a shower. It is also outfitted with a dryer. A kitchen is also available. Five years ago, volunteers started providing services to soldiers in the common waiting room at the Dnipro railway station. Many military personnel go there right off the train and are immediately offered to use the military waiting room. We offered them to come, check it out and stay here if they like. New waiting room was opened a week ago and not everyone knows about it. To enter the military waiting room, you have to show your military ID card, combatant card, and a train ticket. Reported by Natalia Husak, UATV.